Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Would help if I turned the microphone on, wouldn't it? Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. Hello, Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Yes. Welcome to our channel. We're independent snubbing up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current snubbing up products from our online shop. Do use the current host code, which can be found on our website at mitosocrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies in the form of free packs of gems or pearls as well as tutorial bundles designed by the Snapping Glam Squad and Global Creative Project, which is a PDF and video tutorial. We put out a couple of live streams throughout the week, so if you'd love to see more card making paper craft inspiration using Snapping Up products, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And we also give away the cards that we create. So uh, pop in a comment, you'll be put into the random draw. Uh, and if you are watching the replay as well, it's worth popping in a comment to say hello. Uh, and you'll be put into the random draw on the next live stream. So last week, um, Wednesday, this one was the second card. So we'll do the random draw for that now. Ooh, I match. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say hi to everyone first yes. and say happy. F oh, sorry, have I interrupted you? Yes, Did because I, uh... I was going to say that. Anyway, okay. yes, so before we do the random draw, uh, we'll say hello uh, to those of you who have come in already and popped in a comment. So we have Janelle, Caroline, Karen, Tina, Sherry, um, Anne, Mandy, Connie, Julianne, Deborah, Sandra BL. Um, Oop, it went... <laughs> Where am I now? Betty, Judy, Sandra, Selwood, Julianne, Jackie, Stampin' Sue, Dee, Valerie, Beverly, Maureen, Gian. Thank you so much. Starts off so well, doesn't it? <laughs> and then goes down the hill quite quickly. So, yes, yeah, so thank you everyone for joining us. And yeah, thank you. Happy Independence 4th of July um, to you all. Um, yes, we thank you. Well, thank you very much for joining us on your special day as well. If you're um, if you're here, and thank you to everyone else that has joined us from the UK and around the world as well. Yes, so good. So, um, anything else? We're going to be playing with the pansy pansy patch. patch tonight. Is the stamp set we're going to be playing with? Um, you got two cards: one from me and one from Jay. And yeah, <laughs> really, <laughs> really. <laughs> he's, kind of, he's got one. I don't know what he's making, but he's got one. No, I don't. So, anyway, all right. So we're gonna go do. We're gonna. So if you popped a comment in after the live um, on Wednesday, then you are now in the draw for this card right here. Yes. So good. So we're gonna do that right now. Um, Jay is going to yes, pull yes. that up. So let's go over and have a little look. Cool. And we'll just refresh. So twenty-five. Good luck to everyone. Good luck. Yay, Betty, Betty. Congratulations. You have won. You know the drill. But we'll just do it up anyway. So Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. All winners. Just if you, So if you are lucky enough to win a card, all you need to do is you just need to email us at that email address on the screen. Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. And with your address details, to let us know that you're happy to win. And we will send out to anyone, no matter where you live in the world, we will send it worldwide. So, um, yes, well done, Betty. That card is going to be working its way over to you. So good. So, well done, Betty. Lovely. All right, so you're going to have me first this evening. Um, and as, as mentioned, I'm going to be using the... Very interesting pansy patch stamp set with the pansy dies. So these ones right here. They are they're actually I. They're really really nice. I've really, been really enjoying playing with these recently. They're quite fiddly. Um, so because there's lots of elements to it, especially with the card Jay is going to be doing. There's lots of elements which you need to have to build up the pansy. But it's it's quite fun. To actually just layer all of these up, you've got your two-step, or triple-step, even four-step stamping, because you've got four elements to doing one pansy. You can do different colours, you can really get creative, mess around. You've got your bits right here. So yeah, so there's lots which you can do. So we're going to go through and show you two cards. I'm going to be doing some stamping, and I think Jay's going to be using more of the dies. So I think that will be good. So let's crack on 
and show you what you can do. So first things first is I have got myself some basic white thick. So as always, cut this down to 14.6, which is five and three quarters. This way. And I will then score this in half at 10 and a half, which is four and one eighths of an inch. And that's just basically how we create our card bases like this. You would like to know I have brought some spare blades over with me tonight. So if we decide to change it, I will show you, you how to change it. Do I want the nail file? I don't want the nail file, but <laughs> Jay has just brought it over anyway without me actually asking for it. Well, just in case you use just it. Just in case. <laughs> but yeah, we, people have been saying um, use a nail file which will be quite good for um, filing down as well. But I have got, I did bring over the blades as well. If, um, depending on how fluffy things go. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so that's it. My card base is prepared. I now need to just prepare my card layer. So I've got myself some, this is just regular basic white now, which I've got. And I'm gonna cut this down to, Again, I, I tend to always like to cut my cardstock in half first, and then I then work from I then work from that part. Is how I like to do it, and I take and then I take this one to the correct size which I need right here. And then I'm then ended up with a. A nice, a bigger piece for later on for something else, but it's just again I can't, paper management. So I'm going to take this to 9.5. Yeah, I, I am a bit I am a bit fluffy. I, you know, what, I'm going to do it. The blade needs changing. So if you're if you've never seen this before, the, the blades with these trimmers, they are really really simple. There's a little groove down here which then this then just slides out like this. Why am I on one already? <laughs> I, I didn't ask for the thingy. <laughs> so you're gonna go over and um, then replace the blade and do it this way here. And then it just slots in. It's as simple as that is all you need for this one to change this over. And then when you cut it, you will then end up with a better cut line. So I'm going to take this to 13.6 which is one centimetre less than I need. See, and that's how you get a nice edge. So if you get fluffy edges like this change your blade. <laughs> Just change your blade. <laughs> ah. Alright, so I'm going to I will just give my thing a haircut because I don't want to use the thing Jay brought me over, which I didn't actually ask for. But, that's that. So I'm gonna do that, so we are good. So that's my card base. Come on, Tommy, off the seat. And that one there. I will use the same piece over here as well, and I'm gonna cut myself a strip out. Uh, oh, I see. I just realised what you did, Mandy. I thought I, I, I thought you, 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 you giving me that you, giving me that was your guess. <laughs> I was sort of like, why have I got one already? Really? Sure, surely I haven't got one already. So I'm going to cut this to one and a quarter inches, which is three set, just over, just under three centimeters. No, just over three centimeters. I'm so sorry. I, I flick between centimeters and inches so easily. I know it's quite. It can be quite confusing for some of you. I do apologise for that. And I'm going to take this down to nine centimeters, which is three and three quarters of an inch. I did on the last video on our, on our Fun Fold Friday on Friday, surprisingly. Um, I did actually in the comments. I did actually pop something up in there, which is a site which I use, which is a center, which is a, a ruler conversion. So you can actually type in what I say in centimeters into it, and it will then tell you what it is in inches. So and it's quite good. So if you want to just go with a 
exactly as it is, that will be quite good. Uh, when I get onto the comments once Jay's doing his, I will um, I will see if I can find it again and I'll pop it in the comments for you if that's easier. I, I, start, I found it and I thought it was, well, that's quite handy to use. So I've got myself some of the Pacific Point here. So again, I'm going to take this to 9.5. You can, might see that I'm just going... Actually, no, I'm just going to do it this way here first. So that is... One and a quarter. So I'm going to take this to one and I'm going to take this to one and a half to start off with. But I think that may be a little bit too big. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to take that to one and one and three eighths. Because what I don't want is I don't want a big border on this. I just want a thin line going top and bottom. And then I will cut this at nine and a half centimetres. Again, three and three quarters of an inch. Right there. And then that part goes on like that. If you wanted to, you could cut, if you've got off cuts you could, in smaller pieces, you could always just cut smaller bits out and then just have it stuck on the back coming out like that. Um, it all depends. So use up your off cuts for these bits. You don't need to actually do it the way that I've done it here. But I'm doing it this way because it's easier for stamping. Because I'm going to be stamping the sentiment on here and if I had any gaps in, in the middle here, I would get an uneven surface. So if you are going to use scraps, just make sure you think about your stamping before you stick it so that you actually don't get an uneven surface but I can quite happily go ahead and stick this down without <coughs> having to worry about the stamping side of it because I'm still going to have an even surface on it see we're so stingy I won't I won't change a blade until it's really necessary won't won't get new glue out until it's really really necessary And we do store it upside down in our lovely upside down gluey thingy, my Bob. Thanks, Connie. Thank you, Connie, for that. Which I'm sure this little device has actually saved us on a lot of glue because obviously it's constantly bringing it down to the bottom. So, so that's gone in like so. I'm going to try and speed up tonight because I tend to waffle and just take my time. And then Jay finds that he's rushing at the end when we do it this way. So that's that. I am going to just leave that to one side for a moment. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab myself out my... What do I want to do? Grab myself some scrap paper and some bits so I can do some stamping on here so yeah that do so bits which you've done some stamping on previously which you don't like you can then just use them up you've got two sides to a bit of paper to so save everything and I'm going to do some die cutting and I'm going to do some stamping so I'm going to do some die cutting here all right so here's a little tip one thing I would suggest you do with these dies if you have got them do not take them off of this sticky sheet until you have drawn round every single shape. Okay, So you can either do it as and when you're using them. It will make life so much easier for you when you come to placing things, especially with these type of sets when you have got a lot of dies. You're never going to be able to remember where everything wants and you're, you're going to struggle to actually get them all back on your sticky sheet again. So grab yourself a pen and all you want to do is just trace around the outside of it. So there's a little tip for you with these big ones. So everything goes back and it's also a good way of you knowing if you have got every single die available because you're you can quite easily lose some of these smaller ones. So if you find oh, you've got a gap you know that you need to go hunting before you tidy up too much or empty the bin and put it outside you can have a rummage through the bin if you think you may have chucked it away 
So I'm just going to finish this sheet off and do the rest of it. So it's a little tip for you. I was going to do all of this off camera, but I decided no, I will share this tip. We have shared it with you already before, but it's always good to repeat it because some of you may not have seen it. That's that. And now I will know comfortably and confidently where every single piece goes, apart from that one right there, because I haven't drawn around it. Where every single piece goes, and if I need to look for one, if it's gone missing. I think I found everything. If as you take something off, and if you find that you haven't, you you haven't drawn around it, just pop it back, grab your pencil, and then draw around it. So I'm going to be. I know I'm going to be using this one right here. I'm going to be using this one and this one, and I would also be using this one right here for die cutting out my actual stamped pansy. So I can now pop those away. That's good. All right, so I'm going to be stamping. First of all, I'm going to be die cutting. So I'm going to grab myself my bit of blue. There is one thing which I've forgotten, but I have got the chamois right here. But you know, I'm not really a chamois person. But you know what? I'm going to turn into a chamois person tonight <laughs> because I don't want to ask for the scrub. Oh, fucking <laughs> um, So I just need to use this bit. So I'm going to be using... One of them is going to be going on blue, one of them is going to be going on white, and one of these is going to be going on green. And I have got my big machine here. Now you could use your mini if you want to. The only reason I'm not using the mini is because I want to do some embossing, which I may as well do right now. And you can see our machine has had its COVID vaccination. I don't know why I've put it there. <laughs> Never mind. It's been jabbed. <laughs> what with a big door? <laughs> so if we can go through and we can do these bits. I've seen there's no real there's no real way of a pattern of doing this. Just pop them in and you'll be fine. Because we're not having to line it up with a stamped image, I'm happy just pop, popping these in the machine anyway, any which way, and then cutting them out. Happy birthday, Linda. Oh yes, happy birthday, Linda. It was your, it's your birthday today, isn't it? I'm not going to sing um, protest because you wouldn't sing to me on my birthday. <laughs> so we do, obviously don't do singing. So that's that. Whilst I've got these, so I'll, I will construct those in a second. I'm going to emboss this panel right here. So this is the bit which I did first. And I'm going to be using the Tasteful Textile 3D embossing folder. And I'm going to be using this. So this needs to go in... Like this. So if we're using a 3D embossing folder, I need to use plates number one and four, which I have got number one and four. And this is just going to add a little bit of texture to the background. I will see what this looks like. There we go. Run that through. And this is pretty much the only reason why I'm using the big machine tonight rather than using the mini embossing machine, cutting machine, is because I knew that I needed to do some larger embossing. Because I'm using larger embossing, you need the larger machine to be able to do it. But this, this is where the mini comes in really handy for these things because they are small dies and will work through 
work through this, the machine perfectly so you don't have to have this big clunky chunky machine which is perfect it's lovely but it's not as portable as the mini would be and there we have it so all we've just done is we've just added some texture to this it's just going to add a little bit of detail to that background once we get this nice smooth clean layer on here all right so that's that so when we come to stick these two together what we want to do is I want to pop a little bit of glue on the end part of this white one white white here right here sorry you know what let's get some new glue out shall we look at that straight away just a little bit of glue don't need to have much That's mini you can hear in the background. And then you then just layer that up on top of that one. Well, she's stuck. She's climbed up, she's got herself up onto the, onto the cabinet. But where she wants to jump down, Jay is working. <laughs> and then with this part, part right here, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue along here like that again. So you can see just added it to those bits right there and these dies are lovely because they they just well they they emboss beautifully and that's just all with the die there's no special I haven't used any special mats that's just as if as as you would cut it and there you have it there just need to just give it a little bit of a tweak just to make sure and then just hold it and then you've got like a nice pansy which is flowering okay I think that's really cute you can see the detail in those as well and Jay's going to show you with his card his detail um, with his bits he's going to be using the other dies so I'm going to pop these away before I lose them and now I know exactly where they will go uh, over time you're going to lose the stick it will but at least it will then help you identify what ones are missing good all right so let's move on to the stamping side of things now so i'm going to do my stamping of my leaves first because they are what i've got on my block first Mini, you can't get easier. And I just realised that I've actually done something. I didn't, I should have. Okay, this may. I'm going to see how it works. I should have probably stamped these first before popping them on here. If it doesn't work, then I'll just have to get another piece out and I will have to then emboss it again afterwards. I got ahead of myself. So I've got myself some Granny Apple Green and Old Olive. Let's see what this first one looks like. So, position that where I want it to be, and then I'm gonna then stamp the solid one in Granny Apple Green. And I'm gonna then kind of position it and look where I want it to be. Then I will then remove that and then go down. No, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Luckily, it hasn't. Um, it's still good. It just adds more texture to it. So that's that. I'm going to have that coming out a little bit more. So I'm going to come down a fraction. And then I'm going to do exactly the same. And then I'm going to then have this coming down right here. So I know that's going to be your eyeball it down like so. like that and then I've got the other one which is the other solid stamp for the other petals so we've got a different shape and then that's going to come down like that there then you've got the detailed one so we will close up our granny apple green I've got old olive 
do that one there and then over the top of this just adds a little bit of detail to these they've already got a bit of detail in them anyway you can see you've got the detail which I've decided in but you can see the stamp has actually already got some detail in it um, so yeah you don't always have to do this if you have got the stamp set and you're finding that you are not getting the detail your stamp set your your ink pad is probably too juicy so if you've got if it's a very wet ink pad then you just want to grab your grab a bone folder and you can then scrape the ink away from it to actually make it less um less intense let's i'll just show you what i mean because this one is actually quite our uh, granny apple green is quite juicy it's not too bad actually but it's quite it's it's quite juicy what you can do is you can grab your bone folder oh, I, just, I just realized what I've just gone and done I'm gonna have to ask Jay for something because <laughs> um, I need oh I can't oh, oh thank you Jay I can use my chamois I don't need to ask Jay for something I, I you know that moment when you do something you go oh, why did I do that? I'm going to have to ask him to do it now. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving the ink and just making it a little bit so I'm not wasting any ink. I'm just moving it around. And then that area now is going to not be as... So you can see I get a, I get a lighter shade straight away. So therefore allowing me to... I could probably even go in with the darker part of the green because that's the lighter part. This is the darker part. And then add some detail there so that's the same ink pad just by moving it around in this you can still get yourself two shades of green as well so you don't necessarily need all the colors just play and experiment but if you are getting ones which haven't got any detail on it you're losing the detail in it then just move the ink in your just move the ink okay If any of you are wondering what this is, this is a tumble dryer sheet. We pop it inside the DVD case where we keep our chamois, keeps it moist. It and we drill holes. We've drilled some holes, poked some holes in here. Stops it from smelling too much, and this just keeps it smelling fresh. Um, the tumble dry sheet. <coughs> so good. So there you go. I hope that's given you a little bit of a tip there on if you, especially when you're getting these distinctive sets, move the ink around. Okay. Don't be put off by it. Just move the ink. So I'm just going to clean. And that's that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now transfer over and do the stamping of the actual pansy itself. So I've got number one number two and another tip for you as well if you've got these and you don't know what order these actually lie in they what they tend to do is on the stamp sets is that they lay they layer everything next to each other which works so you can see you've got these two here work with each other so if you're looking at it going to say what does that what what does that work with you can just look at the stamp set those two work with each other these four work with each other these t these three here work with each other these two here work with each other and these are just the stems and this part here is the center part which goes right in the middle of these so again they do lay them out on their stamp sets they don't they, they're not actually randomly put on there they are in here in a particular order to help you identify what ones go with each other so if you've got a distinctive one you can see things which are next to each other try that combination first to make sure that is the correct one for you all right and then i'm going to use that one there and i will use that one there good so i have got myself and i've already got my center part out for the flower so i have got myself some barmy blue And I'm going to stamp the solid one. 
for this is going to be the which is going to be this first one here. Now our Barbie blue is a night is bit as well used, so it's I know it's not going to I don't need to move the ink around. So the Barbie blue down like that. And I would also go with Barbie blue for so Barbie blue and Barbie blue. So these two are the same colour. in a little bit can you still see it yes goes down like that so it just gives you a slightly different shade and it's obviously it's nice it gives some white in between close it up I'm done with that now and then I've got myself some Pacific points I go with the other one so I'm now going these two here this one and this one here are in Pacific points so your lighter colour is the solid colour, your darker colour is this, the outline. And I need to... I'm struggling to line up, and that's only because... I think it's there. Only because I can't get my head in, in the way. There we go, I think that's good enough. Okay, that's that one. I would normally stand up and try and get over this a little bit more, but I've got a camera here. And then I go with that centre one, like that. Finish off with, we've got Mango Melody here. What you need done? No, this, this stamp set I am. This. <laughs> oh, didn't panic. <laughs> and then a bit of Mango Melody goes in the middle, and there you have it like that all right so yeah so pick a nice i was you see i've seen other color combos out with this you've got your nice um your purples work well with this and your pinks which is yeah kind of like your pansy colors really isn't it but you can really get you can experiment so i'm just going to clean these off now Good. I'm just gonna just layer these up on top of this. I don't actually, do you, do you, I don't actually know what stamp set Jay's using if he is. So I'll leave them where they are. Pop them away. I'm gonna be bringing out my sentiment for happy birthday. So hopefully the winner of this card is gonna have a birthday coming up soon, or somebody they can give it to as a birthday card, <coughs> which would be really lovely. And then. I will stamp that here, but I'm going to stamp that after I've die cut this. So, pop that to one side. I'm not far off finishing there, Jay. In true Jay fashion, you may have heard him, he's still designing. So, I'm just going to die cut this out. In like so. And let's move to fractions. I just need to bring that up. And then run that for it. Yes, Mandy, if I remember correctly, seeing if I've if I've done my homework correctly, I think you're towards the end of the month. Is that correct, Mandy? I've been doing my homework. <laughs> so good, there we go. And that has been die cut out right there. So all it is now is a matter of constructing and then we are done. So I can go ahead and I can stick this piece to this bit right here first. Okay. 
So we've got a nice clean card here. And that's that. And that's why I love wet glue. If you need to wiggle it, you can wiggle away. And I think just that embossing, can you just see that it just steps it, it just separates it from the clean to the embossed background quite nicely. Then I can then stick this onto this one right here. Because I'm still happy with my and uh, I'm gonna construct first because if I really make a problem with the stamping, so I'm gonna pop that here. I know that's where that's gonna be. Because if, uh, if I make a hash of the stamping, then I know that it's easy for me to... So I'll just put that where I want it to be, slide that off. I'll just move the fraction, so that was about here. And I'm going to be stamping in Pacific Point, so it's a real blue card. So you could do this card in somebody's favourite colours quite easily. Happy birthday, and then let's bring this down so I can see it. There we have it. Amazing. Okay. Now I can go ahead and I can stick everything to the card. I didn't want to do it beforehand because just in case that didn't come out correctly. And there's nothing worse than the last thing you do is a stamping and you make a hash oh, of wow. it. Thank you, Mandy. Oh, thank you so much, Mandy. Make a complete hash of it and um, you, you're not happy with the card. And I've done that. <laughs> There we go, that is in like so. And then we have got these two pieces. So this and this are gonna go like that. So I just need to I need to give my I need to give my stem a little bit of a trim. And what I want to do is a little bit of glue on the stem here and I think a little bit of glue here just to hold it in place. Like that. that down and then I can then just stick some glue on the back of this in the middle and a little bit here and then to finish this up I then go down like that And there we have it. There is my, I would say, simple card. I know others will probably say that's not so simple, but that's just down to um, down to how we how we perceive things, I suppose. But to me, this is a what I would class as a simple, simple stamping card. <laughs> All right, but wow. you could like you could keep this really simple. You don't even have to do the embossing. You don't even have to add this part in right here. Um, if you don't have the dies, you could always fussy cut this. So you don't necessarily have to. This is an easy design to fussy cut. So if you haven't can't afford to buy the dies and the stamp set together, then you can still make perfect cards like this. Thanks so much, Betty. Thank you, Betty. All right, I did bring some gems over with me. I'm not sure whether or not it needs some gems. Um, Just give Jada hint hint I'm done <laughs> and there is dies which will cut these bits out as well so lovely um, 
No, I'm going to leave the gems off for this one. I'm going to keep it, keep it as it is. So I'm just going to clean and pop away. That's it. So we'll see what, we'll see what Jay comes up with. Um, you can also do some embossing. They put the dimensionals on here. It's going to get a bit loud. I think there's going to be a helicopter which is going hovering over in a moment. So um, if it gets loud, there's a helicopter in the distance. Good. I'm just delay. I'm delaying no, now to I'm I'm wait for Jay to come I in. Can go on. Jay is going to come on. And go from there. There you go. I'm going to see what Jay comes up with right now. Hope you enjoyed that one. Stay yeah. tuned. Amazing. That looks great. Thanks, Barry. Great. So, yes, so didn't Barry do well? I do love that embossing um, folder as well, uh, which is on the floor, I think. Uh, so, yes, so. Doing the stamping, up uh, as Barry mentioned, I'll be doing more of the embossed die cuts, which is the bigger pansies. So before I do that, I'm gonna show you a bit of the pansy petal design source paper, which coordinates with the bundle. So it comes in a suite, and currently there's a selection of design shirts papers or pretty papers um, which are on sale until the 2nd of August 15% 15 off yes promotion online so these ones because it coordinates they do have the pansy already uh, the image of the pansies in different colors which as true stamping up passion 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 fashion <laughs> you can cut it out with the dies so um so yes yeah, so you don't if you for quick and easy card uh you want to use the pansies just get your D dsp out and then it cuts it out uh the leaves as well there's leaves that cuts out is it this one i think it's the longer one so you can cut individual leaves in different colors so evening evergreen soft succulent um soft sea foam i believe and then just for the background as well some lovely different flowers and some what would you call that is that gingham i don't know <laughs> i would say what that yeah i would say it's a gingham um I yeah um uh, so that one is the same and what's the next one the leaves i got the green soft succulent one i like this one which is quite a good nice pattern floral pattern for um summer and maybe even autumn actually it's quite um autumnal so fresh freesia and then this one with soft um sea foam background and just stripe pattern so loads of different well i think there's six different designs on there which you may have seen already from barry's cascading is this what you use for the cascading card yes. yeah so for my card where is my tub did you move my tub i no. haven't moved anything so i'm gonna use soft sea foam card base i decided to use one of the off cuts um with this pattern. So at least I'm using a designer's paper as well. Um, I've got a, la a layer of evening evergreen. I don't know what else I'm gonna do it with that. And we have fresh freesia cardstock, which I'm gonna die cut on for polish pink as well as basic white. So we're gonna do some die cut cutting first and uh, ones that we need so you can normally tell are the ones with the embossing already on there so those raised um areas will emboss the card or deboss the card i guess uh, and it'll cut it as well at the same time so that one these ones will need two off this one is for the outer of 
this so again two of those and this one is for the outer of that one you're right yeah can i have your phone i need to tether okay uh, so I could, I could access to it. yeah you'll probably need to um go onto my personal hotspot first this one is for the middle on there and this triple egg looking thing is for the middle of that uh, I probably won't do any leaves but this leaves you can use the shadow for that one and then the highlights for that one and then that will go on top of each other and then these two together as well right so we'll do some die cutting I'm just gonna use what Barry's used which is this one and we'll do white first now I, ha I have gonna um, I've made a couple of samples as already but I just wanted to show a is that everything yes that one I'm gonna use bumblebee so I'm just gonna cut this up make the most of those and then I'll probably cut it all in the three colors so then we can play a little bit Ooh, sorry for the wibbles wibble wobbles wibbles oh wow thank you Deborah thanks so much and I'll also show you uh, another tip that you can make use of the die cut so I'm just pushing those aside but you can see that it's all oh can you see yeah deboxed so I need another one of this one and another one of this but once you kind of like know the colors that you'll be using um, you can quickly just die cut these all in one go I think it's it's more the color sometimes that um, because that's what I was kind of like humming and hawing ha ha <laughs> so that one's done and I think fresh freesia I'm only using light um, off cuts from what Paris already used actually these ones again I think these ones were die cuts from his cascading thing and one two three four is it that's it four oh one more and I can do like two colors or two different colors oh no it moved Alright, support your Suki. I was just I wasn't supporting the top. There we go. Easy, that's it. I thought I'd go with the fresh freesia. Uh, I did bring out polish pink but I'll probably do like the accents with the polish pink but it, it's darker than what's on the designer shares paper so I think they may have used like petal pink or something for the designer shares paper but it, I'm sure it didn't say on the list of colors right that one
and then I've done with provide already okay so I'll do just accents with these so it could be that one and that one not these ones oh and maybe this one there you go did that move I don't want to cut into my dies it that one and I'll show you a tip as well of what you can do with one of them right so last one I'll just do another one of this one and then bumblebee just off cut mm. let's cut it there you go with the where did it go there to the left as Beyonce say <laughs> there you go all right there we go so loads of die cutting With this type of dies, uh, build a flower die. It is necessary. Oh, I forgot. So this one is like an off cut. If you cut, if you just take that off, you can actually use that to have on there. So it's the back, back to front kind of thing so you don't have to die cut another piece on the outer edge what you could then do is if you want to is actually emboss it with this die so just place it in so it cuts the up the upper edge on there I'll do that now I forgot I was gonna show you that and then at least you're using that off cut as well So you may um it yeah so just place that on and then cut it it doesn't matter if it moves slightly so it's already been cut so you're just debossing and adding that detail onto the die cut already so you do have another piece that you can play with and that can um sit on the larger piece so there you go um do we have another one shall i do another one let's do another one there we go Using up those cards, so building it up. So let's get all of these sorted. So these can go on there, but I've done accents for them, so then you can mix and match. So it's good to have like two or three colors, so you can mix those up. And then for this one, I can have that one. And then if I if I've done it in the polish pink, I could have done that one. 
so that can go in there I think I'm liking the fresh freesia more that one there and then that can go there so you just so I'm not actually using most of it or um, if I wanted just to keep it nice and simple I'll just do that don't have to do put this in and then I can just add that there okay and then these ones uh, take it big will go in the center like that <laughs> so I'll build this up using the glue so it might be worth die cutting them with the adhesive sheet but with this one just it's big enough so you can have tiny bits of glue on there and what you could also do is I forgot to show is you can either use a dauber a sponge dauber or your blends so if I'm gonna do fresh freesia you can you, there's a blend with a coordinating color so you can just do the light and I'm gonna use the brush and from the middle you can just go out so it doesn't matter just blend it out or just flick the colors out it doesn't have to be a hundred percent and then the outside of these will match your your dye base so that's how you can make sure that it's in the correct area you could also add foam to have that higher I will do that so for this one I'm gonna do the dark so with this one I'm just gonna go down because you need it quite high most of the bottom bits areas <laughs> will be hidden anyway but I will just color it down But if you don't have the blends, you can use your blend blending brushes as well. But I think the blends is just that a little that little bit faster. So that one was the dark, and then I'm just gonna add this onto there. then again these ones will match the edges of the white and this one as well so you can shape this it um, as you can see it's kind of like it is slightly bigger done the stamp image so you can shape it just fold it in in or use your take a big tool so then it curls up and then that can be added on top of there maybe can I shape this one It will, of course, add height to your project. And then that will just go under there. Oh, I've got sticky fingers now. All right, let's do this one. 
quickly and then we can create a card I won't do the I'll keep this one cleaner I won't do the what you call it the coloring should really have silicon mat for the adhesive as well you like it no I'm all right but just to protect your tables and um yeah craft space Mandy did um I think it was Mandy um it was either Mandy or Betty can't remember sorry um Mandy suggested putting obviously like the rubber mat underneath the die yeah. cutting machine when you're crafting as well to stop it from sliding ah thank you yes that's a great tip thank you so this one And then I'll just do the white on there. So you can go all the way up on the edges of that and then add the bumblebee center afterwards. So this one, I'm just gonna keep this flat. So one on the right stick that on and then this one on the left and then stick that on so that's one done actually not yet because I'm just gonna add the final touch of this one and this should fit in there or near near enough i just need to press it down so that's one pansy done and i'll just finish this one up so this one i'll probably do that one in there and I have created two more, so then you can choose which one I'll use. That one, and then I'm just gonna flatten that again. So the same goes for this one. To the right, that's a bit bloppy. There you go. So I'm kind of like aligning the the edge of that petal onto there and then aligning the edge of that trim on top to there and then this one kind of like the same so it's level but it as long as you have like two petals on top that will be fine and then this And that's a slightly too blobby for my light loiking for my loiking so yes yeah, so those ones we have um, and I have created two more which is these ones so this one is fresh freesia on the base so it's kind of like this one but with the uh, polished pink oh, actually that's magenta madness I was just doing um, off cuts and I didn't realize it was, yeah, Magenta Madness and Fresh Freesia. So I did the same with the Polish Pink with the Magenta Madness. So that's kind of like the same. This one is the same as this one. So with a bit of coloring with the blends, I did Fresh Freesia on Fresh Freesia with the white and then Magenta Madness. So I'm gonna finish up or construct my card and it's just gonna be a simple layout really but um, let's see which one you would like first so one two three and four from the left 
so get your guesses in but it's just gonna be really simple I'm just gonna move all of these dice put it back because I will lose them uh, but yes great there we haven't cut all of these we normally do like a sheet of all of the cutouts but there's just so many <laughs> well, it's just went two and three okay two, two and three. Three. three see i've lost one already that one okay i'm sure i'll turn out <laughs> So that's gonna be there. Um, just gonna stamp my sentiment first. What did you stamp, Barry? Oh, happy birthday! Wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. Ah, that's nice. But it's too big. <laughs> Love you much. Okay. Um. Okay, do we have it's two three two two three two three two 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 three two I'm just trying to see what else what other paper okay I'll just do that. Yeah white on white is fine. Ooh, block. So I'm just going to stamp it in Pacific Point <laughs> because that's all. I, oh no, I thought you'd have, can I have them? I thought I had the memento over there. Are you mm. looking for the memento? Yeah. I thought I did, uh, it should be over there. Check my box. I'll, I'll just have a memento. It's not here. Thank you. It's right there. Oh, I'm covering it. I knew I brought no. it over just in case. Oh, you could have brought it. You could have just... Not said anything. I could have not said anything, but I'm being fair tonight. Oh. <laughs> oh, and oh, maybe I just do it. Is that straight? Yeah. So I'm just gonna cut that down uh, with the trimmer. On the floor. I think it's straight enough. And then this one, I'm just eyeballing it. Centralize. Oh yes, I didn't say uh, this one is two inch, and then I'm just gonna cut that down to whatever that is, and this one is whatever your sentiment is. So what have we got? Two and three, two and three. Two and three is the winner. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I will be hiding some of them. I didn't do any um. any leaves okay where's my thing gonna be I do like that I'll do the same as Barry I'll have a I don't have a big enough I'll just cut this in half but oh, that's two inches as well I could have done smaller but it's already there so what I'll do is I'll add that on I'll add that on and then this one is slightly smaller yeah than the card base so I will just add that Sticky. 
to use up your scraps. <laughs> Just being stingy. There you go, and I was gonna do wonky style, but I thought, no, I'll just keep it straight. Oh look, it's you have the um, gingham as well there. I'm just gonna use that as my guide because that should be straight, right? There you go. That was a nice accident. And then I'm gonna add that on, and then cut the top and bottom. Ooh, rip on. Now the new in these are pretty much mainly the in colors. Was it these two, right? I'll, I should move my other ones. So are you talking to me? No. Well, ish. Man says you need some grid paper for, for your guide. Yes. Got some grid paper. No, I'm alright. <laughs> I managed to make do with the um, with the pattern on the designer's paper, so all is good. But thank you so much. A grid paper would have been handy <laughs> if you don't have squared um, pattern paper. So that one. Oh, uh, what, uh, what was I going to say? Ribbons. So most of these are like the in color. So fresh freesia. But I'm gonna use and uh, what's that? I think pale papaya would look quite nice. Pale papaya, papaya, or what's that one? Or shall I go fresh freesia again? like evening evergreen I think that's too samey it's too light papaya would add a different color okay I'll, I'll go papaya hi Rebecca so nearly finished um, I will just I was using one of our old. Subo Bells just said it should be two and three. Have you used the wrong color coordination? I thought this this one this one was two. Was it this two? <laughs> Did I mix it all up? It kept flying off. <laughs> was it these ones? I knew it was this one. And I thought it was this oh yes, because these ones are the same on the outer edge. I'm sure it was like that. One, two, three. These two? Two so. with white in. Two is Okay, that one is two. And then this one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Two with white in. Yeah. Oh, two with white in. What? These two? <laughs> <laughs> they all got white. <laughs> you so sorry. Um, dimensions so yeah so I'm gonna just add thingy right so I've, I've done this before with cutting it in between and I've recently just um, seen Tammy Wilson one of the artists on design team as well cut into the ribbon I was like oh yeah um, I'll do that again so I'm just gonna create one and you can do use different colors actually let's do that so maybe soft succulent would be a nice weight yeah let's do that so just cut it in half or you can you can even cut it just the satin on the outside. It look nice as well. 
What's the time? Oh, oh my. Sorry, I'm just gonna. I wasn't looking at the time, I'm just. Maybe I'll just do one. This is quite long. So, cut those. No, I'll do another one. Mum says the one you are using at the mo and the other is now in the middle of the other two. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right. Randy agrees. There. Thanks. They keep they kept flying off because I had sticky fingers. Can you just do that? No. I was trying to be quick. But you can't just um, pull it apart. You'll need scissors. And then we'll just add this and then we can finish up. Right, so two of these. And then two of these. And I'm just gonna crumple it up. Is this gonna be too bulky, Barry? <laughs> my uh, postman. <laughs> my postman. Yes, you need to keep it to left side, please. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. If it's too bulky, I'll keep it to two. Ooh, that's nice. <gasps> you can make shake your pom-pom pens <gasps> with these ribbons i just bought some more pens that's got the um pom-poms at the end and we were like why because we might get a teamy <laughs> they can have a pom-pom pen <gasps> and Barra's like okay Everyone who joins our team does get one of those. Oh yes, everyone that joins our team do, do get cut ears. <laughs> <laughs> we are a Matisse stamper. <gasps> right. There we go. This is more than um, what I normally do. I normally just do like two, but I saw Tammy do like two different col colors. I was like, ooh, that looks nice. Right, just go down a bit. I want right, that's done. Is that too bulky? The teamies get our tutorials free of charge. They do. You get, uh, yeah, if um, I still need to send last month's. Uh, if you join our team, you also get the stamping glam squad and the global design project tutorials for free every month. Oh, that's that is that is nice, right? But it's it might be too bulky. Oh, my stomach. Was that just <laughs> Yeah. Right, and that one's gonna go there. That one and that one. How does that look? Too much with the ribbon? Or shall I just I do two? I think the ribbon people are liking the ribbon. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I'll 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 put some extra in the pot, Barry. Don't worry. <laughs> right, done. Uh so we have glue dot trying to like make it as tight as possible you could do fobo i guess um 
but having it with four um, might just be too unruly. There you go. So I'll just add that there. I prefer that there. So stick that on. Actually, all right, this one first. So then I can just insert the card piece, dimensionals. And I don't know why I'm cut, chucking that away. I can just use this. Fun dubby dozy. Fun dubby dozy. <laughs> Excuse me, my bell. <laughs> come off so spread those out man these misunderstood you actually it's, it's a phobo not a bobo Oh, a FOBO. F A U F A U X BO. What is a FOBO anyway? So you basically loop it around instead of making a proper bow. Instead of creating a knot, you are looping. Um, you're just creating an infinity, an eight, and then doing the tail. Does that make sense? No. It doesn't. Right, that's done. I'm gonna insert that in down there. I think I'm using the old glue. There we go. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be hiding. I know I've done all of those for, but sometimes the design just needs it with the layout. So you just need hints of it. I will be having that right on top there. There you go. So at least one of them showing, which is one of my favorite. So that one I'm gonna add with dimensionals. So nearly done. So thank you for staying with us. Oh man, I thought it was a new dry or something. Oh, a bobo. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, and sorry, I might just add some more. I might just add some embellishment, <laughs> some jacks. <laughs> um, yeah, you can move those now. The gems are down here. So champagne rhinestone, I think I'm gonna use just because it's got some. It looks a bit like pale papaya e. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Bars like thinking, oh, Jay. it's too heighty. It's too heighty. Yes, that's fine. Somebody's hungry tonight. I don't know if you can hear the rumbling. It's not thunder in the distance. That's Jay's stomach. It is you raining. Hear the rumbling. It's raining. In between, let's let's hide the gem so it's like you can just about see it. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta so there we go. That is the second card. Do you have your? I know we showed your cascading thing already. Yes. So yes. good, so lovely. Um, I hope you enjoyed those cards. Um, I've got my card, which yeah, is buried is somewhere. Coming. And um, so we'll do that first. The draw. Get your comments in if you haven't done so already. Yeah. Um, to get this gorgeous, I would say it's like car, uh, plain and simple. Yeah, but I think not so simple. <laughs> <laughs> clean and not so simple. 
cans. There you go, a cans Good. car. It's okay, a clean and not so simple. Okay, <laughs> I, well, I can do clean and not so simple cards. <laughs> I just can't do clean and simple. <laughs> and come back for next yeah. time. So I'm just, take, I'm just taking all your names now. So Jay's just going to show you um, a few projects. Oh yeah, so this one. I'm getting this in. So this one, Barry used the Pansy Petals Design Source Paper. Can I open it? You can open it. <laughs> can I open it? Because this one is a he hexagon tag fancy fold. You can put note cards inside or even place card actually. You can have that as place card. Place cards, cards it's suitable for gift cards or fitting yeah. as well, like credit size cards, um, gift cards. So if you haven't seen that, that's uh, on the channel and that's part of Barry's Fancy Fold Friday video series yes um, this even uh, or in seven hours time and you can put the ribbon back on oh can I get don't do it on, don't do it, don't, you? <laughs> don't do it on camera it's a little bit tricky <laughs> now that you I had to use to put, take your pick tool to can like help prize it on okay so probably um, make it a belly band. A belly band be or make good. it a little bit looser. But then once your recipient has opened it, I'm sure they wouldn't put yeah, that back maybe in. Not. Maybe. I don't know. Do it right. off camera. <laughs> yes. Um, there's a video hop. Uh, video hop. There's a blog hop as well that I'm participating in with uh, Sweet Strawberry. This is one of my cards, which is for that. Uh, it's, again, it's quite. It's this one is my simple card, I would say. But I use the beauty of friendship, beauty of the earth design search paper, which is part of the promotion, fifteen percent off as well currently. And this one I did with um, just stamping. Now I have created a matching um, treat um, holder, or just a matching treat bag, but using the cellophane bags. Um, and I use uh, what did I use? Stamping blends on there. So and I did another card uh, without the strawberries. So check out the blog um, or our Instagram or Facebook in uh, next week to see those projects. Good, lovely. So we're all ready now. We've got everyone's names in, which is great. So we are going to do a drawing for that one right okay. now. There you go. So good, excellent. So the winner of the first card tonight is going to be Stampin' Sue Creates. Oh wow, congratulations. Excellent. I'm assuming Sue. Sue, yes. I <laughs> so, think um, recent yes, winner. Recent winner, I think. As well. um, yes, so that's good. So well done there, Stampin' Sue Creates. That card is working its way over to you. So yes, email us and we'll send this card to you as soon as possible. Uh, we do have a couple to send. Yeah, they're actually all ready to go. I, yeah. Oh yes, yeah. yes, we did the, um, we did the postage, postage today, go out in the post tomorrow. <laughs> cool. So good. So thank you so much and don't forget to come back and pop in another comment on the video to for a chance to win this card with the die cuts of the fancy petals yes. and i've got suki here oh she, ah. she wanted cuddles yes so good yes lovely all right so thank you all for watching sorry it's been a long one but i hope you've enjoyed that tonight and um, we'll be back with you again on wednesday we've got 26 subscribers until we get to 5900 so can we get to 20 another 26 between now and wednesday oh fingers crossed <laughs> thank you all Okay, so we will see you again in a few days' time, same time, same place. Thank you. Thank Take you care. all. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.